Hey guys, it's Albert. Uh, coming to you with a little bit of a different video than we normally put up on our channel. I wanted to talk to those of you who are video editors out there. I've done quite a bit of video editing over the last year or so for the Human Echoes channel, and I have a little trick that I've developed that I think might help some other people. Uh, this is going to start, by the way, with the base assumption that you are already using keyboard shortcuts in whatever video editor you use. I have Adobe Premiere, but I know that there are others out there and they all have keyboard shortcuts, and if you are not using the shortcuts, if you are dragging your mouse around like a caveman, you are the spawn of Satan, okay? We will come for you and burn you at the stake. For those of you who are already using keyboard shortcuts, here's a little trick that I've discovered, and it involves this doodad right here. This is an Xbox 360 wireless controller. I have the wireless receiver hooked up to my PC here. You could use a wired model if that's what you have. You could use other game controllers. The specifics to the Xbox 360 controller aren't really important. I'm just showing you this little technique to put the spark of the idea in your mind, and maybe you can develop it further from where I'm at. Now to start with, you're gonna need a program called Joy to Key, which just translates the different buttons that you push on the controller into keystrokes uh, that will correspond to whatever your keyboard shortcuts are for Adobe Premiere or whatever editing program you use. Um, and it doesn't really matter which keyboard shortcuts you use, so I'm not gonna get into too much specifics, but uh, I'll just run down which how I have things mapped. This isn't something I would say that you have to do exactly the same way, but uh, these are just sort of suggestions to get people started. I have this, this controller right here. Up and down is mapped to previous and next edit, uh, which is real helpful because you want to sometimes you want to skip from edit to edit. And then back and forth is linked to uh, go to the next frame and go back a frame. Uh, the A button I have is a start play and stop play, and when I have it playing, I also have it mapped where if I hold A, it plays things faster. And I have to cycle through this, I have to continually hit A to make things go faster and faster uh, if I want it to do that. Um, start is my save. I want to save, you want, you want to have that sort of there, that seemed natural to me. And I have select as undo, which I'm not gonna hit right now because I don't remember what my last edit is here. For moving around within a clip, I have the left and right trigger here mapped to move forward and move back multiple frames. And it, Joy to Key has an option to repeat that action. So I have it set where this is basically just moving forward five frames a bunch of times in a second. Um, and then one of the most important edits editing tools that I know of is the trim to next edit and trim to previous edit. So those I have linked to the bumpers here. So for instance, you see my edit there on the right. If I want to trim this current thing to that, which is normally Q and W on the keyboard, I hit bumper there and it trims that back. And you'll see me here, I'll go undo. So that just gets rid of everything between here and that last edit. And then I can, the same thing here with this bumper, goes to the previous edit, and you see that that trims all that up there, and that's real helpful. Um, my multicam stuff, because I do a lot of multicam editing, I have, but I don't you do more than three cams, and usually it's only two cams, so I'll have the right cam here, and then the left cam, that's one and two, and then we'll do a third camera, and I have that mapped to the bottom, and I leave this top one mapped to M for marker because sometimes I want to mark a spot in the podcast where we're doing something or in the thing. I don't want to stop editing and hit M. I'm just like, all right, we're going along, and I hit M there. Uh, y is select. It selects everything at the play, playhead there. Uh, again, I just did this as it felt natural to me. You can certainly do something different if you feel like it's different. B gives me a cut, and then let's, let's do and we'll make a cut here. All right, so we have our... Uh, we have our cut, and then for some reason, I don't know why it leaves that selected, but we'll select here, so we're selected on that. And then X is delete, because sometimes you want to delete something in particular uh, that doesn't involve uh, jumping back and forth from the playhead if you want to just cut something in one particular thing out. And yeah, that's how I, that's, that's my little editing shortcut. Obviously, you can't put everything on the controller, and you might do other things more frequently, so maybe... It would help you not to have exactly the same things as I do. But if you're doing real basic editing, 
uh, this is something that can kind of save you a little bit of sweat, right? All, all your fingers are sort of right there on the same keys, and it's sort of built for that. And then, you know, you, you keep your keyboard close if you got to do other things. But it's, uh, it's a little time-saving tip. If you found this helpful, feel free to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for lots of videos that are nothing at all like this one. Albert out.